What's up, web developers? It's Real Tough Candy from realtoughcandy.com, back online with you guys today with five must-have courses going back to school for the 2019-2020 school year. These five are the cream of the crop. Number five, the Web Developer Bootcamp by Colt Steel. Let's hop on to the landing pages here, and you can get a quick glimpse of some of these insane metrics by the guy who is largely credited to popularizing this cheap online bootcamp model. So 448,000 plus students enrolled, 4.6 stars overall rating. That's a Pretty good metric for all these people enrolled. The course is 46 and a half hours, last updated August 2019. Now, this is the one that started it all for a lot of web developers. I know this course was the one, was kind of the gateway that opened my mind up to web development and just getting started. By no means was I job ready after taking this course, um, but it really helped guide me with just the first few steps. So it kicks it off like all the others do, HTML, CSS, some advanced um, CSS stuff with Bootstrap, JavaScript basics, and then going down into jQuery. Then at the halfway point here, we go into the back end with Node.js, working with APIs. He has a huge project they call, he calls Yelp Camp. Some people have critiqued this course and said it's out of date. Um, now I'm looking down here and let's go over to the actual course. You can see it a little better. So starting with section 18, we have jQuery. Um, and then in section 19, there's almost two hours dedicated to jQuery plus a to-do list where you do implement some jQuery stuff. But honestly, you probably don't want to be developing actively in jQuery in 2019, 2020, but you are probably going to be dealing with it on the job. There was a jQuery boom not too long ago, and a lot of projects have used jQuery. So it is really good to know, but just to show how quick this stuff changes, this course was last updated August, 2019, right? This is like a few days ago, it was updated. And it says just updated to include Bootstrap 4.1.3. We're actually on 4.3.1 right now. This might've been a typo, but Knowing how fast web development moves, I don't think it's a typo. This is not a make or break by any means, just to illustrate how fast this stuff moves. But going back to the actual course, I mean, just a great introduction. Colt Steele is a great communicator. He keeps it light in certain areas. He has like, you know, cute cat pics, cute dog pics. Uh, it, he has a really good stage presence. The Web Developer Bootcamp by Colt Steele, definitely worth the price of admission. <laughs> Number four, JavaScript Understanding the Weird Parts by Anthony Alisea. This course was one of the first courses I took to deep dive into JavaScript. I don't regret it. It's 11 and a half hours, 128,000 plus students, last updated August 2015. Now, normally this is a freaking death sentence for web developer courses. The thing about this course is that it's all lecture. There's not a huge list of projects for you to do. There's not all these quizzes and tests. It's just him talking and showing how this stuff works. This is the most the snooze worthy Udemy course I've ever taken, but it was also one of the best. Totally worth the investment if you're trying to figure out how this stuff works, as opposed to just coding along and feeling like a code monkey. If you're wondering how the stuff works when you're building projects, go take this course, incredible course. I've taken it like three times. The thing about JavaScript is that you never stop learning JavaScript. Even if you've been working with it for a few years, there's always some weird part. There's always something funky you're gonna encounter. And this course really helps illustrate what it's all about. Number three, Brad Traversy's Modern JavaScript from the Beginning. It's really hard to find vanilla JavaScript courses on Udemy that are worth your time, but this is one of the few that is definitely worth it. It's 21 and a half hours of vanilla JavaScript. No frameworks, no libraries. You just get your hands dirty with the DOM, learning about the fundamentals, 
tons of projects too. That is one thing that everybody loves about Brad, myself included, is that by the time you're done with one of his courses, you're going to have a ton of project-based learning under your belt or garter or whatever it is you wear on your torso. And that hands-on learning, I think, is so important for almost all of us who learn a lot when we're actually doing this stuff. He also talks about JavaScript patterns, which is a really nice feature in this course, something you don't hear a lot about because these patterns are theoretical, and sometimes they can be hard to demonstrate using JavaScript and using code that's accessible for a large audience. He also has a big section on ES2015, aka ES6, stuff like symbols, destructuring, maps, and sets. Um, and look at these projects too. Let me go over here because I wrote an article on this on this course too. Loan calculator, task with local storage, all of these things are projects. Micropost, front end crud for REST API using Webpack and Babel. Nice modern project. Calorie tracker, weather JS app. A nice diverse selection here of projects, including a Chuck Norris joke generator. I mean, come on, people. And as Brad says, this JavaScript course is for absolutely everybody. One of his big talents is being able to take this really complicated stuff and just putting it in a blender and putting it on pulverize and explaining it so people can understand it and use it without dumbing this stuff down. I mean, look at this stuff. This is complicated stuff that he explains um, without skimping out. It's 21 and a half hours, tons of downloadable resources, awesome course for the price. <laughs> Number two, Anthony Alice is back at it with Learn and Understand Node.js. This was a later discovery, and I'm, I kind of regret, actually, I really do regret, I didn't discover this course earlier on before I started learning Node. Just like JavaScript understanding the weird parts, this course is mostly all lecture. He does have one project in here, but it's actually really rushed. It's called Let's Build an App in Record Time. It's an hour. Uh, it's just a really hastily built project, probably not something you want to put in a portfolio. I guess it's better than nothing, but even still, the way he explains Node is worth the cost of this course. Absolutely. It's 13 hours. Again, totally digestible when you compare it to these 30 and 40, 50 hour courses. He talks about everything that makes Node what it is. What's powering Node? Why is it doing that? He talks about the whys a lot. And that's just something you don't see in 99% of other coding courses. As you can see here, last updated December 2016. These are horror movie numbers, but because it is theoretical, theory doesn't change. The building blocks don't change when it comes to these technologies. Now the implementation might, the versions probably will, but how it works at the core does not change. I don't know why I did not check this course out earlier on. I think it's because I wanted to do a lot of projects. Why even bother learning about why Express works when I can actually start using it right away? You know, typical newbie thinking, it's not the worst thing to think in the world, but it definitely catches up with you because it does come a point where you do need to know how stuff works, especially when you're trying to debug your application. This is where this type of course really comes in handy in, from a practical standpoint, because once you understand how it works, debugging just becomes so much more efficient instead of like, you know, perusing Stack Overflow for hours and just copying, pasting the top 10 answers until something works. That's a temporary fix, but for more sustainable fixes, a course like this is just so helpful. Tony Alisea is the only guy who can let a course go for three, even four years without an update and still be totally valid and totally worth the price. This course is awesome if you're trying to learn Node. And finally, number one, the number one course for 2019-2020 for web developers on Udemy. Oh yes, the complete web developer in 2019, Zero to Mastery. Andre Negoy, I'm biased. This guy is my favorite instructor of 2019, probably going into 2020 as well. He is doing, he is absolutely flipping the Udemy game on its head. His support system, his Discord server, his activities on all types of social media where he's interacting with people on a daily basis. I don't know if he sleeps. I, I really need to just study his ways. This course is absolutely fantastic. It's modern. It covers the basics. It covers the advanced stuff. The projects are insanely awesome. Now with coding boot camps, there are some things you just can't escape because it's a complete coding boot camp. 
You gotta you gotta talk about HTML. You gotta talk about CSS. You gotta talk about JavaScript basics, manipulating the DOM, stuff like that. But the way he explains it, his his slides and his delivery are just second to none, in my opinion. He talks about React for just under, well, about four and a half hours. He does have a great React course too, dedicated React course, but this is great for getting your feet wet. By no means is this a complete React introduction. You're probably gonna be confused about React because it's only four and a half hours, but it lets you do the basics. And especially when you're doing these projects, notably the Smart Brain project, that's a project that incorporates machine learning, all kinds of fun technologies. And the database he uses, thank the gods, is not MongoDB. He actually uses Postgres. PostgreSQL, in my opinion, a much more practical tool to introduce to newbies uh, rather than MongoDB. Yeah, MongoDB is hot and all, but I think Postgres is a little more practical and you get to practice the SQL statements, um, joining tables, all this cool SQL stuff. He also has a really great Discord server where people can go and get help. Will this course alone make you a junior developer? Probably not, but it is a great starting point. Whether you wanna do front end, back end, or full stack web development, most of the stuff to get you started is in this course. And he is really good with his updates too. Last updated August, 2019. Really impressed with the production values, the stage presence, the material, the support. Uh, this is the complete package. Great, great course for the price. I mean, it's a steal. It is really a steal. The complete web developer in 2019, zero to mastery, taking the number one spot by Andre Nego. So now it comes to this question, which courses am I missing? Which course has knocked your socks off in 2019? And which courses are gonna continue to rock it in 2020? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, and by the way, Candy Script is now officially open for business. This is a store exclusively for web developers and those who love us. No guild and tees here, guys. I got hoodies, die cut stickers, caffeine containers, both guys and gals sizes and styles. But come on guys, I know you get down with some leggings too. Don't lie. Whether you wanna show off that JavaScript cheese or need a little HTML refresher, there is something for every developer at Candy Script. Candy Script, seriously, bad dev designs, link in the pinned comments.